Hey everyone, it's been a while. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't posted in over a year. I just got really sidetracked with everything and I got really busy, school and work came. So I think I'm just gonna update you guys on everything that's been happening in my binder. I did downsize, but I also added a few collections. This year that I was gone, I was going through a lot of different groups and types of collecting and different binders and things, all of that. I was experimenting, so I'm finally back. I'm going to be showing you a little bit of an update only on my BTS stuff. I have a binder for two other groups that I'm collecting, um, and I will be doing a flip through on that once I complete the collections. So. Um, I actually, this is not the binder that we're going through first. I'm so sorry if the camera is shaky. This tripod is very weird. Okay, so the first binder we're going through is this Jungkook binder. It's technically not just Jungkook. Again, experimenting led me to make just one Jungkook binder and then one BTS binder, but now I have three binders in total. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and flip through. This is my Korean albums binder. So what I did, what I decided to do, is just collect Jungkook. I'm sorry about the lighting change. I just feel like the glare is a little bit annoying. But what I decided to do is only collect Jungkook, and you'll see that a photo card is missing in each of these rows. That is because I did collect OT7 for one set of some of the albums. So I decided to keep them. But I did trade and sell um, my other collections. This is how it looks right now. Obviously, I have butter. I do have the pre-order benefits and then this random Japan pre-order benefit. And then I have some of the lucky draws. For Jungkook, other than album photo cards and big inclusions, all album inclusions I collect, other than lucky draws, I just collect the whatever I want to really. And I bought these replicas because lord knows I will never be getting these. These are actually really cute cards, but I do have some be lucky draws and then some butter lucky draws. And then I have my bigger inclusions and I decided to keep three the other two members that I had because I just like it being in a completed page. And then his bigger postcards and butter. It's not the cutest, but it works. And then I have some of his Japanese photo cards. I didn't finish collecting all his Japanese photo cards because again, I decided to collect two other groups, which are my two other old groups, BTS being my old, old groups, but and Jungkook being my old, old bias. But I decided that it would be a lot easier if I just downsized and only collected a few things and I've stopped collecting all his Japanese cards. I didn't find myself necessarily enjoying them because they're not necessarily selfie cards and that's what I find that I really like collecting that are Jungkook's. So I just kept what I had and then I also collected the special edition um, photo card. And I just have a divider for my OT7 stuff. I have the stickers. This is where my OT7 collection starts. Some of the notes. This is actually not my favorite um, answer set, but I decided to collect it since it was the easiest and I ended up with four cards, so I just needed to collect three numbers. And I did run out of two pockets, so that's why you'll see a lot of things in just one pocket. Sorry if I sound weird. I'm, I just woke up and I decided to do this. I don't know when. Um, this is not obviously. It's it's just there. We're just yeah. And then I have all my B stuff. So since they started making merch for the albums, I decided to keep them with the actual albums. I just think it looks a lot nicer and it looks a lot fuller. So we have the little binder and the B global pre-order postcard, the B Deluxe Edition photo cards and the B Essentials with Jungkook's photo card and the group photo card because I pulled two 
I have the foot cards the other unit in the back and then we start off with butter it's like a transition for the B pre-order benefits and then butter pre-order benefits and some of the little message cards then we have the craving things and then the pre-order film strips another message card and then some cards I do want to get a Tay and a Yungi but I haven't gotten the chance to I'm not prioritizing it but I would like to them. And then I have Lucky Draws. I bought off of Coco Dive and I didn't pull any JK, which is very sad, but I really do love these these cards. They just do look a little dark, which is a little bit sad. And then we have all the bigger inclusions. And then this is where all of my random inclusions are that I don't really want to sell or trade or anything, but I don't have like a reason to put them with your T7 stuff. So I just have random what's left of my Tay and Hobie collections and then random pulls. Fun fact, I don't know where this Yungi card came from. I found it in a school fair album and I don't remember buying or trading or getting it. So it, it just appeared and it was really cool. Um, but it is official. <laughs> and so yeah, I have the bigger inclusions. I could totally collect OT7 for this, but and then I just have group cards. And that's all for my BTS Korean album card. Photo card collection, um, I was going to put everything in a big binder, but it's very annoying to keep everything in just one binder, so I decided to keep them in three. So now we're going with one that I showed first. <laughs> this is my merch stuff for like tours and lives and all that it's very interesting this the way i set this up is very interesting so i just have a random page of mini photo card size things for jungkook this is like a dump page because i was collecting as i said but i didn't want to give these away i didn't give any of my jungkook stuff away so i just kept it and had to put them somewhere these are really cute I don't think I said anything, but I actually pulled this, so thank you, JK. Random let's card size stuff. And these are all my random units for the merches and the Tamuchong. Tamuchong? I don't know how to say it, I'm so sorry. Um, but the ring set I did pre-order, so that should be coming maybe like next month. Um, and we have more random Jungkook stuff that I collected. Sorry, this isn't like in detail what everything is. I'm just trying to update you guys on what I have in my binder. So whenever my next, um, what do you call them? Oh my God, my next sort with me video, hopefully I can make one. Um, I'll actually be, y'all will know everything. That's the way my binder is organized. I'm sorry, I'm out of it. So Bang Bang Con merch. It's really been a while, oh my gosh. And then one and Mots, they're together because I don't, I'm saying, yeah, I downsized and I keep saying it, so I'm sorry. These are OT7 sets, since I literally have these cards already. And then I have the New Year's Eve Live, this is literally my favorite Uncapped Plus card in all existence. And this jungle post was really cute too. And then we move on to Soju, which is like a lot of stuff. So we have the special set that comes with like if you got the 10 pack. And then the pajama set. And then the special card. And then this isn't all gin. I got the 10 pack, so I just kept all the ones that weren't dupes and put them all together because I didn't want to collect like every single card. It looks pretty cute. Then I did get all the units because I only needed one in the end. And then all of JK's. And then the stickers I had to put in here. Very cute. And then the Tamajong. This is just for a Changuk. And then this is random stuff. I don't know where to put. 
So like Brandios and the Exhibition, Army Bomb, just in case, but it's Army Membership. <laughs> I forgot to. The Icon sticker pack. And then the, the Icon photo cards because I bought Jungkook's magazine and the Otis one one. And this is for In the Soup. And then this is for, um, yeah, this is just tags. Tags for stuff. And then this, this was supposed to be a, um, this actual, like, cover. This was supposed to be a divider, but I decided to get another finder. And so I didn't have any covers, and I was too lazy to make another one. So I just put this in, and I think it's pretty cute. So. I'm so sorry if you're not, like, in frames. So this is my DVDs and separate packages, all of that in here. So I have tour, photo cards, just all the chunk stuff I collected. Some things are new. Is this Soul photo card, the Memories Blu-ray, which I'm so happy that I have. I paid way too much money for it, but it's okay. And then all this is new. So these two, my friend actually pulled, but she said that if I pulled her top two at least once, then she'd trade, and I did. Her top two are Jimin and Jin, and so we trade, we traded, and so I was able to get these two, and this I actually pulled myself, which is crazy. I'm so proud, so happy. And then this, it took me like two months after the winter package to buy it. And these I just bought as soon as the I saw the listing, because like, yeah. And then these are the actual pulls I got. This Hobie card is one of my favorite things ever. I was not able to trade it with anybody. I couldn't. And so I have this drawing diary and guidebook. Most of this stuff is random because I didn't finish collecting all his stuff. But it's okay. And then we move on to memory stuff. Which is a very small section. <laughs> and then the Muster Winter Package. I pulled Jin and my friend pulled Tay, and so we pulled each other's bias records, so we traded. I thought that was really cool. And then I did cut these apart, but I honestly like it better this way. Because you can actually see it. And the one photo book. And the special postcards, because I did pre order. And then we have the. E day calendar. I always call this like the DVD or something. I don't know. But yeah. Very cute. I was super happy when I found out that it was OT7. There was like no random inclusions. Thank you, Big Hit. Big Hit's learning. Super cute. And this I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. It looks really cute. And I kind of did the same thing with the one DVD things. And then this is just for the Blu-ray postcards. And this is actual season's greetings. If that makes any sense. I only have a few of these. Because I bought the season's greetings 2016 and then used up some of them and then threw them away. Because they were empty. The IDs. I'm super excited to see what their next season's greetings is going to look like. 2022, the year that I graduated high school. Crazy. Yeah, that's all for my DVDs and packages and photo books binder. Oh my gosh, it always gets so shaky. Okay, so in case any of you guys were wondering what the other who the other groups were, <laughs> it's more about together and in hypen um i've been a fan of both of these groups ever since actually pre-debut <laughs> as soon as i heard that big hit was having another group and it's called tomorrow by together i was super excited and then i watched island so i was there for all of that um yeah um <laughs> i'm super happy to be able to collect these groups <laughs> Explosion.